it's barbecue inspired or mimicking barbecue, whatever. Gotcha. If you're not cooking with wood, it's not barbecue. What is up, people? We are back with another episode of Taste of Northern Virginia. Um, we're still doing our barbecue edition. This is our sixth restaurant on the list. And today we're headed to Arlington to go to Sloppy Mama's. Sloppy Mama's actually has an interesting story that's similar to Smoking Cow. It seems like people have normal jobs. They get a food truck and then they get a restaurant. So during our last video, we visited the number one barbecue spot. Sloppy Mama's is actually number nine on the 2020 Washington Post best barbecue spots list. The location we're going to is about 20 minutes from Kingstown. And what's cool about this place is they don't use gas, they don't use electricity, it's all wood. So this should be some really good smoked meat. And I'm excited about trying it out. This is my first time to Sloppy Mama's. Have you been? I've never been. And fellas, are y'all excited about going? Yes. Yes, sir. Excellent. I think they're a little bit more excited this time. So there's another cool fact about Sloppy Mama's. The outdoor seating area was actually just added uh, towards the end of last year, and that's because they wanted to add a whiskey bar. Excellent, excellent. So let's go ahead and see what they have to offer. I don't want to stay here, no. Ain't going to keep it low. Okay, so we just arrived to Sloppy Mama's and it's true, it's true. They do have a wood grill. Check this out. They got the wood grill. They got the wood here. Look at that. I don't know if we need to really go inside and taste this because that was amazing. We have the real grills. We have outdoor seating. I gotta say, I am really looking forward to tasting what Sloppy Mama's has to offer. They've already sold me on the presentation. Let's go inside and see what there is to offer. Hey there, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Thanks. My video? Yeah. I told you, right? Hmm. That's a serious burger. How many patties is it? Two? Three? Two. It's a double patty. Guess how much it is? $12. $7 for two patties. $5 for one patty. What would one patty? That's a secret item on the menu. All right, so we have a full rack of St. Louis style ribs, quarter pound of brisket, a half a pound of pulled pork, a quarter pound of pulled chicken, two sausage links, pickled jalapeno, that's just in the condiment that comes on the side, a single serving of mac and cheese, single serving of collard greens, a single serving of coleslaw, and a single serving of baked beans. Along with that, we have pickled red onions, house-made pickles. We also have a Diablo barbecue sauce. That is a tomato-based sauce that also has like habanero in it, an Alabama white sauce, a Carolina sauce, and then a Georgia Gold, which is a mustard-based sauce. Finally, we have what I believe are some Martin's potato rolls. And homemade chicharrones are pig skins with a little barbecue spice on it. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. We're about to have our first piece of uh, smoked meat from Slap Your Mamas. Mm. The ribs are good. Nice. Not spicy at all. Smoky. So that was it. That was Sloppy Mamas in Arlington. You're going to really appreciate the care that they take into preparing their smoked meats. I also feel like the establishment has a great story. As far as my favorites here, this place had the best sauce I've had thus far. It was a sweet tomato-based sauce. It had a good consistency that I like. This is going to surprise you, but when it came to the smoked meats, my favorite smoked meat was the chicken the pulled chicken. I felt like the pulled chicken was seasoned properly. I felt like it also had a good sauce ratio. And I also appreciate an outfit that goes through the trouble of making sure that the food is properly seasoned. A lot of the establishments we've been to so far, whether it be pulled pork or pulled chicken, 
they just serve the meat dry and it's not as appetizing, right? You have to fix it up. Not as sloppy mamas. They know how to do pulled chicken, right? The brisket was also a Texas style brisket. So if you go to some of the other outfits or any outfit that has burnt ends, that's a Carolina based product. This is a Texas style brisket. So you have to decide whether or not you want the lean or the wet brisket. We had the wet brisket and it was super tender. The wet brisket is the same cut of meat that they make uh, burnt ends from. So it's a super juicy piece, very tasty here. So the smoked chicken you have to get, the brisket you have to get. The barbecue ribs are also quite delicious. This is also my favorite pulled pork. The smoked sausage, it wasn't as smoky as I thought it would be because I, you could see the machines that they use, right? You could see the smokers. So I thought that the smoked sausage was gonna be a little bit more smoky, a um, little bit more smoky flavor, but it was a, a more homemade smoked sausage, right? So it kind of broke apart a little bit after you removed the casing. So that was a nice touch. The pickles are free and they're delicious. I'm not a free pickle type of guy because I feel like when somebody's giving away something for free, sometimes it's not as good. This place gave away free pickles. Also, they just had Martin's bread, like just sliced bread just for the taking. So that, that was pretty cool. We have to end this particular review with a shout out to the banana pudding. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You have to start the meal with banana pudding. They should have told us that at the beginning. I wanted to start with the banana pudding. My wife is against me starting with desserts. I know the boys wouldn't mind starting with desserts. I don't think that they would, I don't think they would mind. There's also cream soda made by Pucks. If you Google Pucks, you're not gonna be able to find any information about it, which is also cool, but it's such a clean flavor. Smooth, it's not too carbonated, it's not too spicy, right? Sometimes those carbonated beverages are kind of spicy. But yeah, that's Sloppy Mamas. You're gonna love this place when you go. If you do go because of this video, let me know in the comment section, let me know. And that's it for me. We'll see you on our next restaurant tour that we're doing with this Taste of Northern Virginia, and we're out.